Hey, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, and today we're going to be talking about some protective motorcycle riding gear. Could technically be used for other things besides motorcycling, but this is a motorcycle channel, so that's the frame of reference we're going to use. And the piece of gear we're talking about today is this mesh riding shirt. Now, this is an armored Kevlar lined riding shirt. It is a mesh material, and this particular shirt is made by Beyond Riders. If you're not familiar with their gear, we're gonna talk about some of the other products they offer here in a minute, but first, let's focus on what we're here for, this thing. So, this can have armor in the elbows, in the shoulders. I don't have any of that armor in this particular shirt at the moment. Um, sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. I have a riding flannel that I got from Beyond Riders over a year ago that I really like, that I do wear with the armor in it and stuff. And I wore that when I went to Las Vegas and I rode the Roguelide ST on the track with the Wyman Brothers and stuff. And part of why I wore that shirt for that event is because of the Kevlar lining and the armor in it. Um, as I've gotten older, I've gotten a little more concerned. I've seen more friends go down, have road rash, things like that. And uh, so I'm being a little more conscientious about my riding gear. But one of the problems I struggled with was having riding gear that looked casual and didn't look like it was armored riding gear. I don't want, you know, to have a big back pad and a leather jacket and the stuff that the racers wear. And I don't want to be geared out like that. That's just not me. I ride a Harley Davidson bagger. Um, I want to have some protection from road rash. If something happens, I blow a tire and I go down or car pulls out in front of me and then something happens. All those kinds of things have happened to friends of mine and what people typically do is they don't make a purchase for a product like this till after they've had an accident. I highly encourage you to get one before you have an accident. It'll do you a lot more good. Now, I know I'm teasing a little bit there, but that is the case. I've had multiple friends who have gone out and bought one of these jackets or the riding flannel after having an accident. I would encourage you to consider purchasing something like this. Obviously, it's in your mind if you're watching this video and you're thinking about it. Now, this particular thing here has two different buttons on the cuffs, so you can adjust the, how tight it is on the cuffs. They're not elastic. This has got like a, a little bit of a canvas in it, and it's also a mesh weave. It breathes really well. I've been wearing this thing all summer. Fall is here, and now I'm doing a review on it after wearing it for months. I wear it when it's 60 degrees. I wear it when it's 90 degrees. I'll be honest, I don't always wear it when it's 90 degrees or higher. And when I get off the bike and it's 90 degrees, I take it off. Cause this thing isn't just a shirt. I mean, it is a shirt, but it's a jacket also. It's, it's heavier. It's a heavy shirt. It is not a coat by no means. And at 60 degrees in the morning, it is enough protection that I can wear a short sleeve shirt underneath it, riding my street glide. And I'm protected enough from the wind from the bat wing and stuff that I find it very comfortable, even 60 degree weather. At 90 degrees, it breathes enough that it cools my body down. Now this shirt has some of the same great features as the armored flannel that I fell in love with from Beyond Riders. And I'm gonna talk about some of that stuff besides the armor and the Kevlar lining, the pockets. I hate it when the pocket is only big enough for a pack of cigarettes. I wanna be able to put my phone in it. Now, this happens to be an iPhone 14. It fits in there just fine. It also fit in these pockets. One of the things I like about these pockets is they have zippers on them and they have pulls on the zippers that make it easier to get a hold of. Up and down works really well. I ride a Dyna sometimes. I don't have a phone holder on the handlebars or anything else. So when I'm riding the Dyna, having a shirt like this where I can put it, this in the pocket and zip it closed and know my phone is secured is a nice feature as well. This shirt has a few more pockets besides these two external pockets. There's one on the inside here. Uh, it's big enough for maybe a, a pew pew that goes like a 380 or something. It's not huge, but there's one on each side there. I can put stuff in there. One of the other features I really like as an older gentleman who wears glasses is it has an eyeglass cleaning cloth built into the jacket. So I can wipe my glasses down if I've smudged them, taking them off or on when I'm putting a helmet on or doing other things, or God forbid I am wearing these when I'm riding. I usually wear riding glasses, but if I was wearing these for some reason and got bug stuff on them, easy to clean. Now, I'm a big fan of Beyond Riders. One of the things that's important with this is the fit. Now their flannel fits me as it should. I'm an XL. This one fits me as an XL. Uh, I have had a few people comment about the zippers. I don't even pay attention to what side the zipper's on, but the zipper is on your left on this one. Zips all the way up. Then we have snaps as well. 
Snaps work well, zippers work well. I've had no problems with them in three months. Everything seems to be made of the kind of quality that I've come to expect from Beyond Riders. So I really like this mesh shirt. Uh, a friend of mine, Christian from Christian's Customs, if you know him on social media, he bought one months ago. He rode with it all summer. I asked him how he was liking it. He said he still loved it. So uh, I highly recommend this if you're looking for some protective gear to wear in the hot weather. I know where I'm at in the Ozarks, it's starting to cool off. Uh, this might make sense for people still in the south. Uh, I know a lot of people don't start riding till you know, fall in the south because it's so hot in the summer. Maybe this will extend your riding season in the summer a little bit and still have some protective gear but not be so quite so overheated. Now I mentioned they had other gear. This is the armored flannel I wore all last year. We got padding in the elbows, shoulders. It has a back piece as well. You know, I don't find it uncomfortable. The, the armor's worked well for me. This is an XL, fits as it should as well. Same kind of pockets, zippers. Oh, the mesh shirt has this also, but they have zippers here. So you can vent this, a little hard to do by yourself, but we have vents under each armpit as well. This is the riding flannel that I wore last year. It's probably what I'll wear this fall, but I have a new fleece hoodie coming from them that's armored, Kevlar lined. All of this stuff is Kevlar lined that I'm gonna be testing out as well. So we'll have to see which one I wear. This particular flannel has two pockets on the inside that are zipped at the top, but it has a, a, a vertical zipper as well on here. On the, has one on this side, eyeglass cleaning cloth and stuff as well. So this is the flannel I really like. I did a full video on it. I've got a couple of other products I'm gonna show you. And then, you know, we'll talk about some of the things they have that I have not tested yet. Now this piece is their soft shell hoodie. And I did have to size up a couple sizes on this one. To get this one to fit me right, I had to go to a 3XL. It's kind of a slim fit. And so I have a, a dad bod, we'll just call it that, instead of saying I'm fat. I had to size up for it. Again, zipper pulls, zippers work really well. One thing that's really nice about this soft shell hoodie is uh, it's really for colder weather or wet weather. This thing's water resistant as well. Again, we have inside pockets in this thing, eyeglass cleaning cloth pockets on this side. We even have the zippers in here for venting. I usually don't uh, do that with this because I usually only wear this in cooler weather, but I guess if you start out on a cool day and it warmed up, that'd be nice to have. This one has thumb hooks as well for the sleeves to help keep them down. So I really like this jacket. I've been wearing it a little bit. I'll be wearing it more when it gets really cold and I'm riding. Now this is one of the reflective shirts. So if you ride a lot at night, Maybe you live somewhere where it's warm during the winter still, but the daylight's uh, shorter, then this is a great option for you as well. This is a reflective shirt. Again, double snaps at the collars for different size wrists, zippers in here. This has got padding through the elbows again. This one's got padding places in the shoulders, back, all the same stuff. Kevlar lining in the side, pockets on the inside, eyeglass cleaning case, same things. These are pretty standard features on most of their gear. I have not tried out their pants yet. That is something we're gonna be looking into also. I'll probably get in a set by spring and be trying their different uh, Kevlar line pants next summer and see how I like those as well. Now, if you like any of the products I've shown you here today, especially the mesh shirt and stuff, there is a link in the description that'll save you a few dollars off your next purchase of Beyond Riders. And Beyond Riders does support the channel. So I wanna be very clear about that. But that was a relationship that started by simply trying out their flannel, giving them feedback on it. I really liked it. We've grown together. We've partnered together. They give me products to review. And I tell you the truth about them. I wear these things. If you get on my social media, you'll see posts of me being in Arkansas and wearing these gear and these things and stuff. So I'm not just trying to push some product down you. And part of the reason I'm passionate about this and want you to really consider this is I have seen friends of mine go down at high speeds and get road rash. Firecracker, when I first started the channel, had an accident. Firecracker's my wife for anybody that doesn't know. And she had road rash and she did, luckily didn't have any broken bones. She did have a helmet on and stuff. But road rash was one of the worst things about that accident and stuff. And I think that Kevlar lining can actually help protect you from that part of the accident, the abrasions and stuff that are very painful to clean and heal. You know, this stuff does cost a little more money than a standard shirt or things like that, but I find that I like wearing this gear better than wearing a big heavy leather jacket or leather vest a lot of times. It is designed more appropriately for the seasons. And I have different pieces of gear for different seasons of the year. 
Anyway, I hope you guys find this beneficial. Check out the Beyond Riders website. They have all kinds of different colors. My wife really likes the fact that she can get stuff in purple on there for women. They have women's products as well as men. All these same kinds of things and stuff. So you guys stay safe. And that's what this is about. Staying safe. Keep on riding. And we'll see you in the next one.